All right, this is long division with divisors of 3 through 9 and no remainders. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, with quiz and errors, teaching uh, conceptually. Almost nobody knows how uh, or understands long division conceptually. Uh, I didn't until uh, maybe a few days ago. <laughs> um, so, and I, I honestly have never met a person that just kind of understood long division. They just were kind of going through the steps that they memorized. So um, here is what I have learned about what we are actually doing. So we have 72, that's the whole amount. Here I have seven tens and two ones. So that's what I have, 72. And I wanna know how many threes are in 72. Or another way to put it is um, 72, I wanna make that into a rectangle with three as one side. Tell me what is the other side, okay? So the first and easiest way to do that is see if we can um, use our tens. So if I go like that, I've made a rectangle with three on one side, right? And 10 on the other. Can I do it again? Yes, I can. Can I do it again? Nope, don't have enough. Okay, so what I've done is I have one side that's three and the other side is 10 and 10, which is 20. So the other side right there, two goes in the tens place that repre represents 20. Um, and what have I used up? I've used up three times 20 or six tens, right? So um, I've taken away six tens or 60 from my total amount of 72, right? I started out with 72 down here and I took away 60. So there's my 60 I took away. And here's how you represent it with symbols. Take away 60. What do I have left? I have 12 left, right? Now we want to make, use up the rest of this uh, to finish off our rectangle with three on one side and something on the other side. So how can I make 12 into a rectangle where three is one side and there's something else on another side. Now, uh, your students should know their multiplication facts well enough to automatically, automatically come up with the number four. And so they will trade their 12 for three fours. And that way, see there's our 12, still 12, right? Still 12. That way we have made it into a rectangle with three on one side, oops, and now we have four on the other side, so we can write a four here. And so what did we take away from, what, from the 12 we had left? We took away 12. And what do we have left down here? Nothing, zero. Okay, so 72, this whole amount is still 72, and one side is three. The other side is 20 and four, which is 24. Next, 117 divided by nine. So I have 100 and I have a 10 and I have a seven. That's 117. Um, now what I want is a rectangle with nine on one side and whatever else, we don't know what, we're gonna put it there, something else on the other side. Um, first thing I'm going to need to do is trade my 100 for, ta-da, 10 tens. So, still I have 117, 117. But now I can take nine of those tens and turn them like that so that I have, I have nine on that side. And can I do that again? No, I can't, I don't have enough. So, I have... 9 on this side, and what do I have on this side? 10, right? So I have 10 on that side. Put the 1 in the 10 spot. See, it's right again, uh, right above this 10 spot there. Okay, so how much have I taken away? What's 10 times 9? It's 90, right? So I had 117 down here, and I took away 90. So to represent that with symbols, do that, minus 90, okay? And what do we have left? 
27. So now we have 27 here. We want to make a rectangle with 9 on one side and something else on the other side. So we're thinking 9 times what is 27? And hopefully your students will automatically think 3, 9 times 3. So they're going to trade 3 9s for the 27. Still 27, just looks different. Okay, so then we can bring this up here. And we have made a rectangle with 9 on one side. And what on the other? 3 on the other. Put the 3 in the 1's place. And so we had 27 down here. How much did we take away when we made a rectangle? We took away 27, because 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract that. How much do I have left here? Nothing. Big ol' zero. So the answer, 117 divided by 9. What's the other side of my rectangle? 10 and 3, 13. 84 divided by 6. So here's 84. It is not in a rectangle with 6 on one side, is it? I want to make it into a rectangle with 6 on one side. So the first thing I see that I can easily do is take out 6 tens and move them here. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on that side, right? And I have 10 here. Now can I do that again? Nope. Don't have enough. So I have gone across this 10. Okay? That 1 is in the 10's place, so it represents 10. Um, so, and if you need to, go ahead and label those. So, how much have I taken away? I've taken away 10 times 6, which is 60. I took away 60 from my original 84 here. So, 84 minus 60 is, oops, what was that about? 24. Okay, so I have 24 left, and I still would like to make this into a rectangle with 6 on one side and something on the other. So, 6 times what? is 24. 6 times, here we go, 6 times 4. Trade this 24 for 4 6's or 6 4's, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so now I've made a rectangle with 6 on one side and I have 4 on the other. So I'm going to put a 4 up here in the 1's place uh, because I've gone across 4 1's. Okay. Um, and so I have, I had 24 down here, and I took away 24. So 4 times 6, 4 times 6 is 24. That's how much I took away. So to show it in symbols, minus 24. And I have nothing left. So my final answer, the other side of my rectangle is 10 and 4, and up here, 10 and 4, 14. So this looks exactly like this. The entire rectangle is 84. One side is 6, right there. Other side is 14. 10 and 4, 14. Now I'm going to show you um, how I would do this just with drawing pictures. So our squares represent 100, okay? So this is 200. And each of these little lines represents a 10. So eight tens. And each little dot represents a little one. So 200, 88. And I want to make that into a rectangle with four on one side. So the first thing uh, that I am going to do is take my hundred and make it into tens and I'm just gonna go over here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there I've used up my hundred and I've made four on one side I can do it again with this hundred okay so 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Used up 10 tens. Now I have 8 tens left. So I can quickly see that I can use up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I've used up all of those. Okay, so none of this is here anymore. I took that away and I made a rectangle with four on one side and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens across that side. Seven tens. So seven tens, in fact I'll even write 70, seven tens times four is 28 tens. 28 tens is the same as 280. So I took away, see I scribbled it all out, I took it away and I moved it up here. I took away 280. And what do I have left? My eight little ones. And what do I have left up here? 288 minus 280, eight little ones. Now I want to make this into a rectangle with four on one side and something on the other. And actually, it's already like that, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Use those up. So I have four on one side and two on the other. I'll write my two up there. And four times two is eight. That's what I took away is eight. Took away eight. And now I have down here nothing left. So I made a rectangle with four on one side out of 288. And the other side is 72. 72. All right, last one for this video. 308 divided by 7. How many 7s are in 308? Or if I make a rectangle out of 308 and 7 is one side, what's the other side? So I have 308 represented down here. And I want 7 on one side. So I'm going to take this 100 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Use that up. I know I can do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And I know I used that up. And I can do it again with this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But I'm not going to be able to do it with 9 and 10. So I'll cross that off and I will down here put my two extra 10s because I used eight of these up here, but I didn't use two of them. So I still have the two tens down here, okay? So what I have done is I've made a rectangle with seven on one side, and one, two, three, four, four tens, or 40 on the other. And so I'm going to write a four in the tens place. So four tens times seven, what do I have up here? 280. So I took away 280 from what I had here. Took that away. And what do I have left? I have 28 left. Here's two tens and eight. Now I need to make a rectangle with 28 where seven is one side and something is the other. And do you know what? Instead of drawing out all those dots, I'm kind of just gonna do this. I know this side is seven. And I know the whole thing is 28. So what, it, what is this side? I know that it is 4 because 7 times 4 is 28. So put a 4 there. And 7 times 4 is 28. So I used up 28. I took away 28. And now I have nothing left here. So my rectangle of 308 is right here. I have 7 on one side and I have 44. 44 on the other.